Queen's Palace to be added to Rwandan Historical Museums. The Palace of the former Queen Rosalie Gichanda is going to be added to Rwanda's historical museums. Kigali Car Free Zone expands to Wiryogo. The city of Kigali is dedicating a new road network to pedestrians to allow residents more opportunity to relax and have light moments in the otherwise congested central business district. Kanye West, Beyonce, Rihanna, Lil Nas X, Cardi B, Asa Proki, and more making Rolling Stones' most stylish musician list. Some of our musical faves were just recognized for their iconic drip. Rolling Stone just released its list of the 25 most fashionable musicians. Yes, we are back with the morning call section. We're going to be talking about uh, different stories that are circulating and to keep you updated on the latest affairs of um, the country and worldwide. So, starting off on the local scene, uh, Queen's Palace to be added to Rwandan Historical Museums. So, the palace of the former Queen Rosalie Gichanda is going to be added to Rwanda's historical museums. So, located in Huye, it was built in 1940 for white mis missionaries, but was turned into the Queen's Palace when Queen uh, Chanda was chased from her palace in Nyanza a few, year, a few years after the death of King Mutara III. So Ambassador Robert Masozira, the Director General of Institute of National Museums of Rwanda, told the New Times that the idea to revitalize the building came after it was realized that Jichanda was the only queen with physical evidence of her existence. So he went on to say, we found out that she was the only queen with physical signs of existence, so we want to maintain that history because it is our heritage and make it known for future generations he emphasized. So Masozira went on to indicate that feasibility studies to turn the house into a museum had have been concluded and now they are moving to the step of mobilizing funds to start renovations for the building. He did not indicate when the building would kickstart its exhibitions as a museum. So Jichanda was born in 1928 in the Eastern Province in the current Rwamagana district. She got married to the king at 14 years of age and those who knew her or lived with her considered her as a modest, humble person. So it is said that she remained accessible to the population even after the abolition of the monarchy when Rwanda got its independence. And so uh, Jichanda was killed on the, on the 20th of April, 1994, only two weeks after the 1994 genocide against the Tutsi had started. Yeah. So uh, it's an amazing thing that they're about to at least uh, honor the, the legacy that she did. Exactly, yeah. and make it more visible and make it more accessible to Rwandans or uh, international people who would like to come and visit exactly. and learn more about the history mm -hmm. because uh, if these things are not preserved, our history gets on to be phased away and uh, the young generation doesn't get to yeah. learn about it. So uh, as uh, Masozera went on to say, it's a way mm -hmm. in which we can be able to uh, preserve it to our generations and generations to come. Exactly. And, you know, it's just a way of honoring her and also the family that she might have left behind. And we cannot deny the fact that she's beautiful. It's a fact that I had to out there she was really beautiful yes yeah <laughs> so heading on to the next story more on an exciting note kigali car free zone expands to Yogo, and the city of kigali is dedicating a new road a network to the uh, to the pedestrians to allow residents a more opportunity to relax and have light moment in uh, the otherwise congested central business district so three more roads including kn115 street kn113 street and also k and a one two street in Bidjogo village, Jitega sector of Nyaruje in the district are now being designed to become a place for only pedestrians and uh, also known as a car free zone. So, uh, a statement read uh, it is a place uh, already, the re I mean, sorry, it is a place already the residents used to try and find more space for clients of, the, of uh, their favorite green tea, uh, famously known to its French name, the Vert, uh, reads a statement from the city of Kigali. So, we are giving them what they have, uh, they already have uh, been wishing to have. A statement uh, went on ahead to read. As part of this project, the city of Kigali contracted graduates of Nyundo School of Arts who started doing artistic paintings on the roads dedicated to car free zone. And they were joined by the vice mayor of the city of Kigali in charge of uh, urbanization, uh, Merard, uh, Merard uh, Mabuga uh, Namaguru, uh, who launched the project on uh, Saturday, which was last weekend. So the first car free zone of Kigali is located 
on uh, Road KN4 Avenue between Kigali City Headquarters buildings, commercial buildings, you know where it is uh, located. So in 2011, sorry, 2021, the Caffrey Zone was expanded and uh, rebranded to improve congestion and also infrastructure and the environmental uh, uh, and for environmental and quality of life benefits. And it is something that we cannot wait to, you know, look uh you know up to or look forward to because it's going to be in the works the works have already started so let's just wait for the finish line and uh, to see how it's going to be turning out definitely yeah. this is actually things i used to see in, like the movies yeah. how those road, roads can be very artistically mm -hmm. painted yeah. um mules on like the walls or uh, the roads it's going to be beautiful mm -hmm. and uh, like they said it's uh, more space for Kigalians yeah. to find leisure and relax and let's face it that place needed some space really less did. cars and mm -hmm. less bikes and for just people to enjoy the place yeah and you can actually see how uh, already the car free zone has already turned into something big and you know uh, mm. great to see it's you know somewhere that you can sit and feel comfortable so uh, how about if it's expanded and you know we are going to be giving I mean given more space and you know it's just something uh, to look forward to it's going to be amazing I believe yeah maybe yeah. I, should, I, I will go visit the place and learn more about you go. <laughs> okay. Anywho, uh, moving on to the international uh, scene, we're going to be talking about um, uh, the entertainment side where Kanye West, uh, Beyonce, Riri, Rihanna, uh, Lil Nas X, Cardi B, ASAP Rocky, and more making Rolling Stones most stylish musician list. So uh, some of the musical faves were just recognized for their iconic drip. Rolling Stone just re released its list of the 25 most fashionable musicians and it was filled with black excellence courtesy of Kanye West. Beyonce, Rihanna, Liz, Lil Nas X, Cardi B, Asa Rocky, and more. So they were acknowledged not only for their personal style, but also their fashion influence and incredibly successful fashion brands. Speaking of Kanye West's innovative and instantly trending style, a setting style Rolling Stone said as polarizing as his creations are as a designer have been, Kanye West has set his own standard in combining music and fashion. Last summer, while debuting at Donda at Atlanta's Mercedes-Benz Stadium, West donned a black spiked jacket for from Balenciaga. Meanwhile, West is keeping his Yeezy line accessible, joining forces with The Gap. So acknowledging the, uh, the Rihanna is uh, taking a more relaxed street style approach to her fashion choices lately, the magazine stated she also continued setting a new bar in luxury and casual wear. At the Met Gala, she paired an ordinary black beanie with couture and she has stepped out for date nights with Asa Rocky in chic leather jackets of late. So how However, when it comes to Lil Nas X, who topped the list landing at the number one spot, his androgynous gender-bending style that has captivated red carpets throughout the past year was noted as a new era of style. That's him on the screen. So um, the statement we went on to say, over the past year, with the help of stylist Hodo Musa, he's managed to turn his, very, his every look into a conversation starter from the flame emblazoned leather outfit seen on a Saturday Night Live SNL to uh, his take on on the Marie Antoinette's Rococo gowns on his now infamous Satan shoes, Rolling Stone highlighted. Mm -hmm. So these people definitely do know how to make statements. Yeah. I don't think if I was a celebrity to that extent, I would wear such outrageous things because I personally yeah, don't do like that. standing mm -hmm. out. But I mean, I would probably be more on the side of like Riri's outfits. She's more casually chic. I love the way that she does it high in ASAP Rocky. I mean, exactly. the dates, if you see how uh, the pictures that they, uh, you know, people upload because they do not upload them, I mean, uh, they do not upload the pictures themselves. Yeah. So if you see the pictures that uh, people are uploading of themselves, it's really, really amazing. The way that, you know, they just have something... Okay, there's a saying, but don't get me wrong, mm -hmm. that Africa has a way that it, you know, gets itself with fashion. It just, you know, it's way easier for Africans to find something to wear and it blends and it just, you know, shines out there. So they're yeah. really amazing two African, uh, you know, uh, American beautiful people. And you cannot deny the fact that they really did stand out. And I'm just glad that black excellence was dominating. Was. I mean, black excellence always dominates in the fashion and industry, music industry. Yeah. Queen B and her outfit. First of all, I like that they have their own brands. Mm -hmm. Kanye West with Yeezy, yeah. uh, Beyonce with Ivy Park, mm -hmm. um, uh, ASAP with the different styles, and, yeah. and they bring their own um, 
fashion and um, mix it with the ones that are already existent mm -hmm. and it's just amazing and it's one different thing to actually wear something nice and look good in it yeah so it's just a combination of beauty and good things definitely yeah. so that's it for the uh, morning call i hope you enjoyed the stories that we had for you guys do not yeah. go anywhere did you see that priyanka chopra and uh nick jonas yes the through surrogacy and we are going to have a topic around that yes, i swear we will but i'm so happy for them yeah. and amidst that uh, rumors were circulating that apparently they were breaking up oh god drama out there in the world is just too much but they just wanted their privacy because they just welcomed One their baby boy that you did know child i mean that i learned mm -hmm. yesterday was girls trip 2 is coming i know trip. that did you know i follow these tabloids my friend <laughs> i can't wait for jada and <laughs> tiffany uh -huh, and, and uh, uh, queen latifah, queen latifah yeah. to bring back that girl we should have a girls trip but we're on anyway so we're going to be right back with more. This is waiting way to finish that. Sometimes. The morning it's cafe. Still the morning cafe.